Well, these are subclass fours, holy lock, leaving from holy lock, etc., etc., etc. Okay. And a belated welcome to another episode of Captain Chan Plays Cold Waters. We're still in the 1984 uh, USSR campaign in the North Atlantic. And uh, we are currently trying to head around the head through the GIUK gap and uh, I think we're on free roam we're trying to do some uh, attack in the area oh yeah yeah yeah. we need to kill the submarine right 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 sorry perfect okay we need to kill the submarine that is just leaving holy lock it's gonna be a diesel man. sub and okay I don't see anything let's deploy to the ray and uh, see if we can find it if not Better not dawdle. Let's uh, deploy it cold or I mean deploy it active sonar. And let's find that thing ASAP. That is a trailer. Con sonar Sierra 2 is classified as merchant. Okay, I think we need to start pinging ASAP, because if we wait too long, the, even a diesel can get out of the area. And you can be sure a very weak layer is not going to hide much. Uh, especially from active sonar, although we don't really know how far it can hide. Uh, a little bit, like uh, beyond 10 kilometers? Doubtful, but possible. Strong layer? Definitely, especially if they're on the wrong side. Okay, I'm not sensing anybody, so active ping it is. The initial range guesstimate is always wrong. It's either too close or too far. In this case, it's probably too close. There's no way it's only 5 kilometers away. It's more likely to be 10. We are going shallow in order to fire the Votopads. And as you can see, uh, my initial guesstimate is right. Uh, the enemy sub is closer to 9 kilometers instead of uh, 5.
fire the voter pads, you have to guesstimate uh, its current speed. Since it's only going six knots, I've decided to put it roughly half a kilometer ahead of it, so it should land just ahead. Keep in mind, a Votopad or Vujuga, uh, the both variants, have a flight time of about 80 seconds. The time is from the time of launch to the time of splash. Depending on your luck, you may or may not need a following shot. And there it goes. Let's see how the... Oh, the Oberon is accelerating quickly. So you can tell it is... Uh, the drop should be pretty darn close. Oh, this is close. Yeah, uh, the noisemaker, of course. Now the torpedo is just circling the uh, Oberon, trying to reacquire. And it's usually doing a pretty job, a pretty good job by itself. On the other hand, the Oberon is not a walkover. It's just that there's a occasional chances where it would take the wrong turn and get hit by the torpedo. On the other hand, we already fired the uh, S-71M, so you'll get there when you get there. Let's say I've seen instances where a sub was able to outrun and outturn and basically out dodge the torpedo uh, two of the votopods. But that was a nuke. Uh, the diesel sub is very likely doomed. But we'll see how long it can last.
this is it, folks. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three, last bearing zero seven eight. Contact breaking up. Well, looks like Oberon didn't make it. Well, in that case, we don't need to keep this weapon around. We'll set a uh, preset so it doesn't hit any surface ships, and uh, we'll just guide it well away from any neutral traffic and we'll cut it loose. The landing force leaving Holy Lock 10 hours ago. It's like, what the hell? Okay, guess we're going back to Andoya. On sonar, new contact bearing 3, 2, 9, designated Sierra 1. Come right to 0, 6, 9, Helm I. Not engaging them, I don't have the torpedoes to spare. So I'm just going to run. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 1. Last bearing 3. 3. 0. Contact faded. Con sonar regained contact on. Sierra 1. Sierra 1, 
Last bearing, two, seven, nine. Contact faded. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, two, seven, one. Contact faded. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, two, five, nine. Contact faded. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, two, four, nine. Contact faded. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, two. Last bearing, two, five, nine. Contact faded. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, two. Last bearing, two, five, five. Contact faded. Con, sonar, regained contact on. Sierra, two, bearing, two, five, zero. Ship for ultra quiet. Come left to zero four five Helm I. Sonar new contact bearing. One. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra. One. Con maneuvering, making turns for three zero knot. Again, Con I'm only sonar, going to Sierra. run. Make turns Although the water three, may be zero, a knot. making it a bit difficult around here, and this is an LA class, we may have to fight because he is technically a hair faster than we are. So we may have to kill him. Shoot two five. Hi, sir. Computer room, tube three ready. Make turns for three zero knot maneuvering eye. Con, torpedo room, tube six ready. Computer room, tube five ready.
returns for three zero knots. Sonar, launch transient from Sierra 1. Con Sonar, Sierra 1 is cavitating. Con Sonar, noisemaker bearing 1. Come left to 0, 0, 0. Helm I. Con Sonar, lost contact. Sierra 1. Last bearing con helm steady course. Con sonar noisemaker bearing one eight nine. Sonar, noisemaker bearing one eight nine. Sonar, noisemaker bearing one nine zero. Sonar, noisemaker bearing one eight eight. Sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Neat. We actually sent the OA class. Contact breaking up. Folks, uh, looks like that was a better ending than I suspected because the uh, sinking OA class is actually worth a couple of prestige points. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Blah, blah, blah. And I will see you in the next one. And we got 30 prestige from that.